Long ago, there was a country on Metrospheris, a planet similar to Earth. Dragonus Nui was once a prosperous and powerful land. Its resources, leadership, and peace led many lands to prosperity. But as the year of 1964 approached, it was a moment when it fell. Nasi Nork has plotted to overthrow the Dragon government in favor of his Nork propaganda. He wanted his Norks to be on equal footing as the Dragons, but has suffered many political scars due to his own deformities. He spent the past four years prior to the point to form a powerful front. Nasi Nork, with the help of Unicron, unleashed his insurrection against the Dragons with an abundant resource he's worked so hard for. Many dragons have tried to fight back, but the Norks' resources have proven to be too much. They fled to their portals across the galaxy to avoid Nasty's Iron Fist. Since the Nork insurrection, the dragons such as Nestor, Bubba, and Magnus with a baby purple dragon have fled to Earth. Their destination, America. The three dragons agreed to split in order for their secrecy to remain within Earth. Nestor hid the baby dragon at a cottage in a California farm until Reagan found him in 1966. Due to his political ambitions, Reagan handed the baby dragon to a young woman to care for him. Flan. She called him Spyro. Nasenork, meanwhile, sought after the remaining dragons in 1969 and teleported through a portal to the Soviet Union. He formed a pact with Leonid Brezhnev and Yuri Andropov that if he could help them decimate American forces, they'd be willing to aid him in his plan. Nasty Nork's retaliation was to create a super crystal bomb, not to destroy Earth, but to cleanse the planet's surface where all would turn into gems. More than a lifetime supply of raw material for Nasty Nork to use for his political promise. If he succeeds, then freedom will be lost. It is February 18th, 1983. Welcome, Antropov. I have some news regarding the Super Crystal Ball. I see. Proceed. Its physical form is purified to the point of a mass scale, but its energy level is still not finished. It only needs three days to finish before we can send it out to this planet. Will it not be finished sooner? The Soviets are growing impatient with the supercrystal bomb still unfinished. My good friend Andropov, perfection requires patience. Once those days are up, you will see its fragments scatter all over the planet, and so much of its resources will give us a lifetime supply. Besides, this energy is considered edible. I suggest you leave us just a little time, but if you insist on pressuring us for immediate launch, we'll make sure to give you a free sample. As you wish, Nork. But if we find out you are attempting to overthrow us, Oh, I wish Brezhnev was here to see you like this. Now off with you! Nork. How long can we go about this temporary alliance before the Soviet Union realizes we're going to feed them to the Super Crystal? As long as it takes, Doctor. Energon tends to take an amount of time to process, even with the perfect physical forms. It all stems from both Primus and Unicron as the original benefactors of the Source, and there are many variants that were made after. Yes. Light Energon. Dark, Amber, Synthetic. The various sources we're using as our ammunition, energy, and food. The question is, 
How is Energon edible for organics? It has been for mechanical life forms. Once this form of energy is processed with any natural resource, so you fuse synthetic Energon with a loaf of bread, then you have yourself with a larger supply and can still be consumed like its form of self prior. Strange how this form of celestial magic can be used to create resources. Does that make us robots for simply having Energon? No. If your robotic mind can't even recall, Energon is essential to the universe, and many of its variants simply added much more to it. We're only using a variant of it, and we will test its limits to not only save our faction, but also get retribution against those pesky dragons, once and for all. I hope this mission's not just a weapons carrier. I mean, I mean, I'm up for adventure, but when are we going to see big battles? There will be in time, Spyro. But even now, there are more important matters than wanting adventure. Ah, uh, trust me. I only got a bite at Nasty four years ago in Iran. And my only mission was finding some blue turkey egg. A Godzilla egg, I should say. If only I were older and join you two, I would roast Nork right at the spot. Sparrow, how many- Hello, my American friends. Mr. President? Everyone, welcome to our emergency meeting. What's the hot topic for today, President Reagan? Connor, do you mind sharing the intel? After receiving further inspections back in Iran four years ago, I've deciphered some strange connections it had with the Soviets and the Norks. From one of my hidden recordings that I managed to save before it got crushed, it looked like Nasty was planning on building a crystal bomb. What kind of power does it contain? From what I can gather from a short video recording, it says this. This, gentle Norks, is a super crystal bomb. It has the spines that can store up to just a pound of synthetic energon in each one. Once the energy is stored to its purest level, it will scatter all over the planet into a crystal ball. It'll last us a lifetime of crystals for us to sustain, and leave those pesky dragons out of the misery! And it'll start right here in Bur- Are you serious? Nork is mad- Where do you suppose it's located, Connor? From the way Nasty said it before the auto cut off, it may imply Berlin. A place in Germany. This could be serious. We cannot let Nasty Nork unleash his nuclear monstrosity upon the free world. Spyro and Flan must go to Berlin and prevent that bomb from detonating. Whatever it takes to ensure the dangers of nuclear power is not to be used. Yes, sir. Whatever it takes. Well then, take one of our planes and head over to Berlin. We have no time to waste.